Don't. There you. Okay, you're actually on. Now. Okay, good. Somebody phone in. Okay. Eight one eight, eight one eight. You're on with uh, Jacqueline Moscow. Yes, eight one eight. Eight one eight. Would you? Hello. Yes. Oh, is this Todd? It is Todd. Yes. Hello. I, I knew it was you because you fucking dog is barking in the background. You can't fucking uh, what can I say? My, what can I say? My dog doesn't like you. My um, dog does not like um, you. He he uh, cringes at the sound of your voice. So I had to uh, go no. to a different room to get him to shut up. No, your dog sounds like it's trying to escape you, Todd. Your dog. Your dog. Your dog wants. To I know. He only barks when he hears you for some reason. Right. Otherwise, he's a quiet dog. That's me. I know what he's saying. He's yelling, "Help! Help! Help! Help!" Lyman, help me! I, I don't. I don't think you're the man to help him, Lyman. I don't think uh, he'd be the one. I don't think you'd be the one he'd be calling for help. Oh, That's okay, my opinion. Todd, get to your. Okay, ask a question, Todd. But don't. I want you to ask one succinct question and then be. One quiet. question. I have so many questions. No, you got to be kidding Todd, me. One question. Todd, That's censoring Todd, me. Todd, shut the fuck up. You can no. You can ask. You can ask a bunch of questions, but you have to ask a question and then shut up and get an answer. Don't talk over everybody, or I'm gonna hang up on you. So ask one question now. That, that's fine. Okay. That's fine. Ask but also, don't talk over me. Okay, ask... No, I do what the fuck I want. Ask okay, a question. Okay, my first question. <laughs> my first question for Dr. Jacqueline Moscow is, did you Hi, release... Hello. Did you release this uh, whole story on May 25th on purpose because it was one week before the World Series? No, it is ironic timing. I will tell you the honest truth, and there's a lot of people that could back this up whether they want to or not. Um, the, the moment that I first was like, infuriated and realized I was going to be releasing the story it was back in December when they came and they were uh, filming Ladies Night 2 at Hard Rock and I was like avoiding Hard Rock and at that time I was playing the most cash there and I went if, I, if I'm avoiding a place just because those guys are there this is obviously bothering me more than I thought. I started reaching out to them around that time um, there were a series of events that occurred there were some negotiations there were some talks there were some like uh, whatever it was, I, I told myself, i got to get the story out there. I went on this same podcast I'm on now. I announced the story would be coming. That forced me to, to right. have to put it out there. Right. Um, and That's then without getting into too much personal stuff, I went, you know, I had a relationship, a three-year relationship, at the same time sort of go through some issues, and I, I had to move in recent months, and things got delayed. And then I wrote a blog, but I had to have some people look at it first, and that got delayed, and, and the timeline just, I already gave out more info than I wanted to, but the timeline just ended up being, and these people could see the emails where I'm going, I want to get it up, I want to get it up, I want to get it up. I probably even, you know, told our host here, I want, you know, I'm trying to get this blog up as quickly right. as I can. Um, and and in, it, this is just the time that it ended up getting up, and, and it, it didn't occur to me until afterwards when people were pointing out this is right before the WSOP for max damage right. that like I'm very open minded and I'm one of those people like someone wants to throw me a conspiracy theory I'll listen to it and I'll look at the evidence and, and such and I, if someone had told me that I'd probably be making the same accusation you are to be honest because it seems like it well was okay okay but you, okay. You, you were on this show you were on this show in early March that's been two and a half months that's a long time between uh, I wasn't on the show years. in early March you were out in I March sometime. I haven't been sometime. on the show since 2014. No, I haven't. Well, you were on something. Anything something happened in March. Maybe I'm wrong about that. There's something in March that happened Maybe where you were wrong. saying you're going to release that. something. Maybe he's wrong. But just move well, on. Well, I've got this. Come on. Referencing. All I know is that there's a lot of other stuff like that you guys don't know about me that's been going on, and that I tried to get the blog up as quickly as possible, and I also had to have people, you know, proofread the blog for right. me, and I had to pe have people. Um, I had to have help uh i hadn't i hadn't had my website uh up for a while i had right. to have help on on that end I well i'm just saying i know at least sometime in february or march you were definitely talking about releasing something mm -hmm. and then it took all the way till may and really may 25th if you had to pick it i know i'm just i'm just I, saying I here move. may 25th okay, todd, 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 todd. Todd. Yeah. have yes. you ever had to move it's really pretty hard I just, I just want to make one statement about it. May 25th I is the very most... Between March, I, I understand. I understand. Between the time that... 
I understand you moved, but I'm just saying May 25th is interfered with when you want to. I can't even get a word in here. May 25th is the very most damaging day to release it possible. You can't pick one more more damaging than that. Nobody cares about the like. I'm a cash game player. Of course, it matters. I haven't played at the World Series of Poker. I haven't played a tournament since 2004. Yeah, but no one works there. No one works there. Everyone's going to see him. It's going to be embarrassing for him. Well, okay. He's going to be uncomfortable. Oh, yeah, well, I... I, I know, I'm just telling you, that's... I'm not saying I feel sorry for him. I'm just saying that this looks to me like it was on purpose. So let's get I'm past that. I'm just telling you, look, I gave you my answer. If I was you, I'd be asking the same question, but my honest answer is no. I... Yes. Okay, let me get to a better question. Okay, here's here's yeah, an even better question. Todd, do a better question. That question was fucking horrible. No, 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 that, no. That was that was a, a very useful question, okay, but here's yeah, okay. one that's uh, easier to prove. Okay. Okay, okay go. You, actually, I want to know when you when when the Poker Night in America people came to Florida on November 30th. You had been told, and tell me if I'm wrong about November this. 40th. You were told on no, Wait, what? On 30th, no, no, November 30th. 30th. Okay. okay. You were told on November 18th, 12 days earlier that you're not invited anymore, that you're not going to be on the show. On November 30th, uh-huh. you posted a text You posted a text where you texted Nolan basically saying, and I can quote it if you want, right. that where, where should I show up to? Where should I be? Hi, welcome That's to Florida. Where should I go? Chris Capra had sent me an email saying, I have spoken to Nolan and Todd, and you have a seat on the show. If right. you'd like to see that email, I can show it to you. Was, was it prior to uh, November 30th? Yes. I would not have texted out of the blue, except that it had been established that I was going to be playing. Oh, and let, because I also saw I saw I saw a text to Chris Capper that same day, about fifteen minutes after you texted Nolan saying, "Hi, welcome to Florida. Where do I go?" Where you texted Chris saying, "Nolan hit me up and told me that there's a seat available." Well, Nolan didn't hit you up. You hit him up right. and acted like you're still invited. Yeah, and but Nolan's Todd, like, uh, Todd, well, Todd, what does what? it? What does it? Who cares? Like, let's say, let's say, I'll, I'll play devil's advocate. She fucking sent the email out of the blue. Who fucking cares? So she's a go-getter. What's wrong with but being I a go-getter? I, I'm, I'm just playing devil. I can just tell you that because I did it, it. Because it, it creates and, the whole picture. Because it creates the whole picture. It, one of the things but, that was criticized of Nolan mm-hmm. is that Nolan was lying, supposedly, about you just showing up to Florida uninvited and that he contacted you about it. But then I read the text go carefully. Back on their face, go back on their Facebook page and look at the first time that they said that I would be playing in the Florida show. It's like... I can I can do it myself Todd, if you want. Todd. I don't I don't even have a Facebook. But, but it doesn't matter. They this promoted is me dumb in question. all of their photos for this... the Florida show. I understand this question. Well, I know, they but there's twelve days in, in between where you were told not. No, I know you were invited to Florida, but then you were disinvited on November 18th, but and that I know for I sure. But then I was re-invited by Chris Capra. And okay, I'd like to see email. the proof of that, because when you were on the 95-minute podcast with Chicago uh, Joe. Okay, yes. sir, since you're the... I'm trying to I, I mean, I don't even know if I want to humor you with this. This is silly. Uh, well, not you want to. It's to it, back your Todd, own story. This doesn't matter to me. Todd, this, this is to back your own Todd, story. Listen to me, Todd. Yes. I, I am uh, closely involved in a poker show, and I host po- a lot of private poker games, too, and public poker games. And I can tell you that there are go-getter type people who show up. But that even, wasn't the case. I'm though. not saying it's you, Jacqueline. What I'm saying <laughs> is, what I'm saying is, this line of questioning doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't. Of course it does because Nolan was Nolan was said to be a liar because he claimed no! she, she said that Nolan. Cla- Nolan's what? not a liar. You can, see, you're shouting over me. You're shouting over no, me again. Who cares if Nolan's a liar? Nolan. The only thing I care is that Nolan's a motorboater. I don't care if he's a okay. fucking liar. Okay. So here, here's another. So, okay, so let's talk about the motorboating. Okay. Uh, Jacqueline, before before the alleged motorboating. Wait, happened, hold on, which, by sir. The way, I, sir, Todd, yeah. I'm getting yeah. you the yeah. email you want. Would oh, you like to give me your email address bringing, oh, so yes. that I can send this to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, yes, my email address is dandruff at pokerfraudalert.com. That's dandruff at pokerfraudalert.com. Okay. Dandruff. dandruff. I don't even know why I'm humoring you with this. Oh, this uh, I'm not... Dandruff is... Now you... Go ahead. Okay. Okay. You're now... not humoring me. You're, you're proving your own assertions. But now go you ahead. guys are email dandruff buddies. Dandruff at... at pokerfraudalert.com. Pokerfraudalert.com. Don't... N- please. Dandruff no, nobody... at pokerfraudalert.com. Dandruff you're about poker... to get an email dated November 19th from Christopher Capra where he tells me I'll be playing the ladies event. Well, I'm sure go. you'll find okay. something in it there you don't you like or... I don't know what the fuck. No, I, look, I, I, I look, the whole really time I've, I've tried to be fair about this. Okay. I've been Dan fair Ruff, about this the whole time. I'm trying to go by the facts question that I can three. see. 
Question three. I don't care. Okay, about the, it's been next. sent to you. Okay, question three. Uh, B- question before three. before the alleged motorboating occurred, which by the way I believe I do believe he motorboated you. <laughs> I, I don't believe his account that he didn't do it. Okay, so I'm not I'm not a Nolan apologist. I'm not even a friend of his. Right. In fact, he yeah, wrote a, a pretty nasty what, what blog you about me. Your email while we're on the air, since I was I was able to multitask and talk to you and send yeah. you this email. So why don't you check it and then oh. you can. Tell everybody I don't think that, that makes oh, good. Yeah, I don't think that makes good radio. No, Dan Druff cannot multitask. His fucking dog is trying to escape half the time. Really, it doesn't make good radio for you to ask me the question, but when I send you the proof, like uh-huh. the only only because then I've got to read it. I've got, I've got to sit there and put you on hold while I read it's it and, and figure out everything with it. Todd, it's, okay. hey, I was Todd, to Todd, All right, what's your next question? We we don't care if you put us on hold. In fact, I, I might like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm sure you like it. I'm sure you like it so you can go on with a softball. I'm sure no, you like there's it. There's no softball. Then you, can, then you can keep softball. There's then you can keep softball. You'd love it if I go on hold. There's no softball. I get of to course the point, there are. Todd. I get it's to been the... so clear here, Lyman. It's been so clear what side you stand on this I'm one. So there, the there have been softballs. I'm on the it's, side it, of the Only logic. a complete moron would think that you're neutral on this. You're not I'm neutral. neutral. It's, neutral. It's, it's so obvious. I'm 100% neutral. No, you're not. Not even close. Todd, go to question three. Okay, now question number three. Before the electric motor voting occurred. Then we're putting you on pause. You're going to check your email and come back. Yes, that's What's right. What's question three? Exactly. You're not, you're not running this show. When are you going to put me on pause? <laughs> <laughs> I can I can say whatever I want, actually. That's right. that's so. right. You can say whatever you want. Todd, you can't do whatever you want. Todd, Todd, Listen. Todd, question three. Before, before the alleged motor voting, let me get this yes. out. Before okay. the alleged motor voting occurred, were you doing shots of alcohol up your nose? What the fuck? I'm not were answering you? that question. Why not? That's very relevant. Chris the, the way you're portrayed. From 80, because, because, okay. 80, no, I, one, I don't see how that is relevant. Two, I don't drink. And anybody that knows me knows that I hate drinking. It was like, and there was a whole group of boys from New Jersey who were sent out by 888. I think they're wearing their seats online. And they were standing there, and Chris Kaffer was going, hey, back in my fraternity, we used to do alcohol up your nose. I declined. He's like, right. come on, you should do it. I declined. There you He's go. telling my boyfriend at the time, you should do it. There he declined. Go. Eventually, yeah. Did we give in once and do it? It was fucking disgusting. I think I blew my nose out into the, like, paper towel, and I was like, this is ridiculous, so it, and I don't know why so I it sounds in. like. But again, it sounds the like person you, who's in a position like you, of authority over me telling me that, like, we're all no. doing this. Well, now, that, no. that, now, here, now, listen. No, Let me get on. involved. Let me get involved. Let me get involved. First of all, Todd. If I was softballing this, you wouldn't be on the fucking show, okay? Number yeah, one. Well, you've got to have me on for appearances, that's why. I, there are no appearances. No, Nobody not, gives a fuck yeah, about appearances Dan Appearances of Druff. neutrality, but go on. Go Nobody on. in the world just, fucking just go cares on. about Dan fucking Druff. I, go, go ahead and make your point. Lyman, go ahead and make your point. And Stop screaming at me. Here's my, make your point. Here's my other point. Okay. I, okay, don't. I, I, I'm not buying that you, that you put alcohol up in your nose because somebody told you to. You probably thought it might be fun. But who cares? Who fucking cares? I really didn't. I'm telling. I'm just telling you the truth. I'm not a big drinker. It, I think it tastes bad. I think it's like a waste of calories. I don't think you feel good the next day. It's just not my thing. Like I'm confused. Here. How come your boyfriend? How come your boyfriend was here for that, but then he disappeared when the motorboating happened? Where, where did he go? Where was he during the motorboat? Stick by my side the entire time that I was. But where there. was he? What was he doing? Know. He didn't know anybody there. What was he doing? He didn't know anyone else he, except he you. He met people there. He met a lot of people there. There's a lot of people from New Jersey that can say that he was. Okay, so how much time between? Degree. How much time between the the shots up your nose and the motorboating was there? How many minutes we're talking about? Like, probably hours. I I wasn't really drinking much. I had like eight. Well, okay. Well, so that, that's my next question. Time. It, it sounds it sounds like you were socializing with them, uh, drinking, yeah. putting shots up your nose for hours and hours and hours. Right. It sounds yeah. see the way you portrayed it. You just went up to Nolan, asked him a question, and then he just abruptly motorboated you. I don't believe that's what happened. I think that you were messing around, drinking with them for hours, and creating an environment where you are there was flirting, uh, everyone was uh, having fun, yeah, okay, and, and then okay, and then, no, then no, what, see, see you're shouting over me again. No, you're shouting over me. Why are you shouting so over me? So Why are you dumb. shouting over me? Don't you? Nobody in the history of the world has ever created an environment where a 50 year old man sticks his face in your tits. Nobody. Okay, again, I'm not defending Nolan. I'm trying to. I'm trying to 
cast doubt upon the You're events that are described me in the that story. I was flirting with him. How can you make a statement like that? I, I'm saying I'm that your description that you just went up to him, asked him a question out of nowhere, and then he just motorboated you right away. I don't believe that happened. Most people don't believe it happened that way. Yet most of us believe you got motorboated, but not that way. Believe. We want you to be honest it. about the circumstances that occurred God. over God. there. That's all God. we want is honesty. Dude. Who are you? All right, Todd. Can I put him on pause, please. Yeah, yeah, Todd. Who, to, Todd, put who him the on fuck, pause. Todd, who are you really to decide? Really getting out of control. Seriously, Todd, who are you to decide whether she's telling the truth or not? I think that her story Because she brought it out in public, I have a right. Since she brought it in public, I have a right to comment and decide for myself. But I'm not nosing my head into this situation. Whether, whether, <laughs> yeah, but your, 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 your line of questioning is fucking moronic. Whether she... No, it's not. See, that's... Whenever people don't want to answer things or they're no. on the, her side, they say the question's moronic. It's not no, moronic. It is It's moronic. very relevant. There's a huge no. difference between a girl who's flirting with a guy for hours who gets motorboated while I agree it's no. inappropriate. It's oh, totally no. different than just it happening out of the blue. It's no. totally what? different. No. For hours. I, I mean, you're screaming about how it's you said, for hours. You, get it. Okay, you said... Okay, come And I wasn't... Why would I be flirting with him? That's like revolting. I have a yeah. voice. Well, I had a boyfriend at the time. Yes. yes. Todd, like, this is ridiculous. I got rid of Todd. He can call back when he calms down. No, I mean, like, I'm really like offended now. This is the whole like you deserved it kind of mentality. Well, yeah. Of-